In this video, I'm going to talk about prime and composite numbers. So what exactly is a prime number? And what is a composite number? Prime and composite numbers, they're both whole numbers greater than 1. Examples of prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so forth. Example of composite numbers would be 4, 6, 8, and 9. Now why is that the case? Why is 4 a composite number? The factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So if you could find two factors or two numbers that multiply to 4 that is not 1, and those two numbers have to be whole numbers, then the result that you get is a composite number. So that's why 4 is a composite number. We can express 4 as a factor of two whole numbers that is not 1. On the other hand, the only factors of a prime number is the number and 1. For example, the reason why 2 is prime is because the only factors of 2 are 2 and 1. The reason why 3 is a prime number is because the only factors are itself, which is 3, and 1. Same is true for 5. The only two whole numbers that can multiply to 5 is 5 and 1. Now, looking at 6, 6 is composite because we can find two whole numbers that multiply to 6. That's not 1. And those two whole numbers are 3 and 2. In the case of 9, 3 times 3 is 9. And so that's why these are composite numbers and these are prime numbers. So keep that in mind. A prime number can be broken down into two factors, including 1 and itself. And a composite number can be broken down into two factors that doesn't include 1. Now, let's work on some practice problems. 12. Is 12 a composite number, or is it a prime number? What would you say? So what are some factors of 12? Can you find two factors of 12 that are whole numbers that does not include 1? Yep, we can. 12 is 4 times 3, or we could say that 12 is 6 times 2. So because we can express 12 as two factors that doesn't contain a 1, that means that 12 is a composite number. Now let's try another example. What about 13? Is 13 a composite number, or is it a prime number? Can you think of two factors, two numbers, two whole numbers rather, that multiply to 13 that does not include 1? I can't think of any. The only factors of 13 are 13 and 1. So therefore, 13 is a prime number. Now what about 15? Is 15 a composite number, or is it a prime number? So what numbers multiply to 15? Can we find two numbers that multiply to it that doesn't contain a 1? Well, if you know your multiplication tables, you know that 5 times 3 is 15. And 5 and 3, they're not 1. So 15 is a composite number. Now what about this example, 19? Is 19 a prime number, or is it a composite number? So what two numbers multiply to 19? 2 does not go into 19, it's not even, and 3 does go into it. The only way we can express 19 is using 19 and 1. So therefore, 19 is a prime number. So now I'm going to give you some practice problems. So consider these five numbers, 33, 23, 39, 51, and 37. So consider each of these numbers and determine if it's going to be a prime number or if it's going to be a composite number. Go ahead and pause the video, work on these problems. So let's begin. 33, we can write that as 11 times 3. So therefore, we don't need to use a 1 which means that 33 is a composite number. Now, 23, you can't find two numbers that multiply to 23. 2 doesn't go into it. It's not even. And 23 is not a multiple of 3. We don't have a 0 or a 5 here. Otherwise, it will be a multiple of 5. 
So, and 7 doesn't go into 23. Therefore, the only factors are 23 and 1, which means that this is a prime number. Now, 39 is 13 times 3, which means that is a composite number. Now, what about 51? Is it prime or is it a composite number? 51 is divisible by 3. 51 is 17 times 3. So that makes it a composite number. And finally, for the last one, 37, 2 doesn't go into it. It's not even. 3 doesn't go into it, nor does 5 or 7 go into it. 37 can only be expressed as 37 times 1. And so this is a prime number. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of how to determine if a number is going to be composite or if it's going to be a prime number. Thanks for watching.